What's up everyone? I have a 5 cat victory for you today. I typically go for 5 of a kind cat in turtle pack but today we are in customs because that build is so much stronger in here. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video and if you do I really hope that you subscribe. So cat is one of the later tier pets, it's on tier 6 which means the earliest we can see a cat is on tier 9. So our game plan for now will be just to survive and hopefully prepare as many level ups as possible. Generally when I'm going for a tier 6 5 of a kind I try to have a level 2 blobfish going into tier 9 so we can level something up immediately up to level 2. But that is for a little bit in the future, for now we are doing pretty well as we find double Ogo Pogo in the shop and we already have one on the team. So here we go, we have triple Ogo Pogo now which means we can make everything instantly level 2 or even level 3 in the case of the Marmoset. Uh, here we are unfortunately only going to draw but that is very good news for us as we want to have as much time as possible in the late game to get the 5 of a kind cat online. We pick up a weasel for that sweet gold generation. Because of the Ogo Pogo we are going to be getting it up to level 2 immediately which means we get 2 gold every single turn. So that is good news, we'll be working with 12 gold every turn so we can find a lot more stuff and hopefully we don't lose in the meantime. We are very lucky with the amount of buffs that we have received on the Ogo Pogo though and this turn we are completely fine. So I think I'm going to work towards a level on turn 7. I take one right here which results in a Manta Ray which I will gladly take. That is 2 more gold for us every single turn so we will be working with 14 and 14 gold is a very nice amount of gold to work with because it can potentially allow you to buy upwards of 4 avocados so that means we get to transfer over 20 gold into turn 7 and turn 7 and 8 are going to be very important for us as we are going to be looking to set up some levels for turn 9 and we can find as many cats as possible that way. The earlier you can find the cats the better the run is going to be for you. Here I think we are sadly going to lose which is a little unfortunate but we still have 4 hearts to work with. I take a look at one wyvern in the shop which is actually another good pet that you can utilize to get the level ups that you need on turn 9. And I think for now I ignore it but in the future I think I am going to come back to it. And uh, in the future I mean next turn. So let's hopefully not lose this time. We get very gracious breakpoints for us so we get to win. And now that turn 7 is up I think we are going to be starting to set up a little bit. We are going to roll once finding double wyvern and I think this time I decide to take them instead of the spider. Spider has been very nice for us, it has been allowing us to win so maybe I could have even sold the Manta Ray instead because if I don't want to risk it I can potentially go for a 5 squad and forsake the go that the Manta Ray is going to give us. I think I might actually even do that on this turn picking up the cow for the milks. It was either that or the monkey I think, the flashlight is a little bit too slow so we don't really want it. But uh, yeah, we find Blobfish right here. Um, maybe I should have sold the cow for the 2 gold but I thought it was going to be relevant towards our victory. Let's see if I was correct though. And as it turns out, yeah, the cow was very relevant. It, it ended up being a draw right there which is super good for us. Now we can sell the Manta Ray, we can work towards a level 2 Blobfish. We have a banana for the blobfish but we are not really interested in monkeys, we would rather get as many cats as possible. And here we go, this crow right here is going to guarantee a level 2 blobfish on the next turn. Well, another banana in shop but we would rather take the weasel right here I think. Now we have 2 level ups guaranteed and if we use the pill on the blobfish we will also have a third level up as well. So yeah, super good setup. We have lots of gold from the weasels as well. The front line is going to be level 2. The one in the middle is going to be level 3 because of the blobfish. So if all goes to plan, we should have 15 gold to work with next turn. 
sadly things did not work in our favor right here we only get to get 14 gold because we got sniped at the start of battle but it's perfectly fine still we are going to start leveling up now because of the wyvern we are going to have four selections for every single level up which drastically increases the chances of us finding a cat so let us start the lotto first level up is a cat second level up will be another cat and now we will peel the blobfish onto our pre-existing cat and if we are lucky we should be finding i'm stalling for a little bit but we should be finding our third cat so here we go on turn nine we have three cats one of them being level two as well it is a shame that we can't pick up the sauropod that was presented to us but I think we should be perfectly fine without it and if we are super super lucky we should be finding a cow as well so we can instantly utilize the buffs from the cats. So here we go a single cow is giving plus 10 plus 20 making our cat the biggest unit on our team and I think we are honestly strong enough to defeat a bunch of opponents. Here our opponent is running a very funny looking build with the mod man plus the cold from the frost wolf and it actually does end up being enough so they defeat us. I'm kinda happy with that, I believe I did something similar in the past as well and that was super fun. But in the meantime we're just going to continue scaling up with the cats, we buy a lasagna, we buy two milks, we are going to buy two more milks as well. And if we wanted to, we could push the level 2 cat up to 50 HP on this turn, which I think is what we are going to do. And that's actually kind of crazy, you have a tier 6 unit with 50 HP on turn 10, without uh, even having to uh, get access to tier 6 units as a whole. Like, imagine if this was a Highland cow, you would be getting tons of trumpets that way. But we are going for 5 of a kind cat instead, and I believe we are going to keep scaling especially if we keep finding cows like we are we are being super lucky finding lots of cows and lots of waffles although i am looking for better foods in the shop and i think this pretzel is going to be way better than the milks from the cow a single pretzel giving plus 20 plus 20 so a 40 stats from one pretzel which means we have 250 hp units now the fact that the milks give more hp than attack which uh, means we get 50 HP but not 50 attack is kind of unfortunate but at this point in the game it doesn't really matter. We win once again pretty easily and all that we need to be worried about at this point in the game is actually finding the rest of the cats. But because we have done so well early on we have 5 more wins to go and I believe this team can survive pretty well until the end game so we should be good to go. Uh, as we win once again right here, we pick up a yeti hoping that it throws some more cats for us. Instead we get to roll some more cows which is also a pretty big benefit. Maybe I should have even forsaken the level 1 milks and get, gotten the multiplication onto the level 2 milks instead. I think that would have been a little bit stronger. But that doesn't really matter as we get the fourth cat on the team. Third in position cat, almost 50 HP as well and yet another cow in the shop which uh, we might not even keep because we already have foods for the turn and as well as that we are looking for the 5 of a kind completion. So yeah, we are hopping into battle once again. Opponents have melon which would typically be kinda scary but because we have so much attack we can even bash our way through the melon and defeat them that way getting a tons of gold from the oysters on this turn we can even potentially buy sell the questing bees for an excalibur which is going to give us some extra stats every single turn but when you have four cats do you really need any extra stats so i just decide to skip them freezing the lettuce because with this team it's basically the equivalent of a sushi and yeah we're just looking for the final cat to complete the five of a kind we even freeze an anglerfish just because the matchmaking is kind of weird sometimes so we can potentially get matched up with another cat team even though I don't see them often in the customs pool. Sadly that does not come to fruition but we should be fine we still have two more turns left to go. We could even gamble a little bit by buy selling the stalled hoping to get the fifth cat that way 
but I decide to just play it safe instead. I might not even buy the lasagna right off the bat because we are not getting too much stats out of it. But uh, yeah, we do find the fifth cat regardless, even though I was greeting a little bit with the lasagna. And we should be good to go. I think the team is strong enough to win without any problems, even against this scummy team. He says as he's playing 5 of a kite cat himself, which is extremely scummy in and of itself. But yeah, we are coming up on the final turn right here, putting some equipment onto the cats. And if we manage to get the last cat up to a decent stat line, I think we'll be super happy. So yeah, that will do it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, I really hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff. And I will talk to you next time. Take care.